is not only a feeling, you shall love. To the Wonder is Terence Malick's gorgeous, swooning meditation on romance gone sour and the existence of God. Ben Affleck and Olga Korolenko are the ill-starred couple whose romance blossoms in France and then flounders in Texas among the bison, while Javier Bardem dips in and out of the action as a doleful Catholic priest. You shall love... Catherine, I think I'm alone out of the three of us in absolutely adoring Tree of Life, Malik's last film. You two weren't so sure, I recall. This one I wasn't so sure about, and I'm, I'm kind of coming around to your way of thinking. Uh, I think the thing is, with Tree of Life, what I heard everybody say is, on the second viewing, it reveals amazing things. This one I've seen twice, and it did reveal interesting things on the second viewing. The first viewing, I agree, it is difficult. Once your expectations of plot and uh, uh, have sort of been, you know, dispensed with. Mm. And once your annoyance at, at uh, the central character, who's played by Olga, I've forgotten how you pronounce Olga her name. Olga Korolenko. Yes, best known She's as She's the lady. French free spirit who loves running through summer meadows and shopping malls with her arms aloft. Yeah. She's often burning things and she does a lot of prowling and dancing, sensual always dancing. Dancing. Always dancing. Always dancing. And always infernally irritating. <laughs> she is. But all of them keep moving throughout. There's not a moment when one of them doesn't, isn't going like that or, you know, mm. it's terribly What I quite wobbly. liked, I mean, you've got Ben Affleck, an A-list star in there, and I liked Malick's habit of, of kind of shooting almost like the back of his head or, yeah. or him half in profile. And it's really interesting and it completely breaks the rules of how you handle a Hollywood celebrity Absolutely. actor. I haven't seen anyone look as bored or bemused in a film as Ben Affleck in this. He's literally doing the Sean Penn in The Tree of Life, yeah. of wandering around thinking, I don't know yeah, are they filming what I'm me? doing. Is this going to make it into the film? Yeah. What am I having for dinner? When it's... am I shooting Argo? Yeah. <laughs> it's... But for all the same, I mean, I don't think I like this much, but I did find it strangely beautiful in places mm. and weirdly hypnotic. And I think Malik has... You know that kid in American Beauty who was filming the plastic bag and yeah. emoting about how beautiful yeah. it is? I think he basically has grown up into Terence Malick. I loved bits of this. Mm. And yet all of the criticisms that were levelled at the Tree of Life, saying it's basically a, a glorified kind of perfume ad, I thought apply to this far more in that I did not care about the central two at all. Uh, and whereas in Tree of Life it, it was, it came out of a place of great pain with the death of the child and the, the, the child actors in the film were astonishing. And I thought Brad Pitt was great in this. Here there was no emotional center I think that is a problem. I mean, essentially, you've got this love triangle and it's difficult to care which way it goes and difficult to kind of process what the logic is anyway. Um, but I do think it, I do think there's a lot of wonderful stuff in here, actually. I mean, you were talking about the sand. I mean, those scenes early on with the mud in that mm. amazing way are fabulous. It's sort of trampolines. And, yeah. And I mean, there's so much, there's, you know, it's so like take shelter and it's so like Beasts of the Southern Wild with all these beasts and sort of eco worry mm. And, you know, it, it does, it does sort of get under your skin on the second viewing in good ways. I mean, if you can bear to see it again, I would advise doing so. Um, What's the significance of the buffalo, do you think? He does love the buffalo. Well, I think he's saying that once we commune with our prehistoric ancestors we can be truly at peace as humans. <laughs> Sounds like the tree of life again. I mean I think why I like this one that was that it didn't really go to that kind of what does human existence mean let's talk about metaphysics. It was, Doesn't it not? I felt like it was more just about th them and their relationship and we were constantly seeing a repetition of all the things that annoy each character about the person that they're with and that's that's part of being a relationship that's falling apart, I guess. You're constantly going through that motion of we'll try and make it work, we'll try and make it work, and it can be beautiful, but at the same time, it's probably going to end up in a horrible mess. In a way, it's a bit like I give it a year, the Rafe Spool Rose Burn <laughs> rom <-com. laughs> like that. I'm sure he'd love that comparison. <laughs> make a really good double bill. Um, but there is, there is a lot to love here. I mean, you're being a bit, a bit harsh on it. Well, am, am I out of step again then? You two actually preferred this to The Tree of Life. No, it's not, no, the, no. But it's not, you know, people went crazy for The Tree of Life and have gone crazy bad for this one. And that's, you know, you've got, got to have some moderation, I think. I, I preferred know. it to The Tree of Life. Grass. Whispering Soil. glass and whispering <laughs> bison. Awaken the divine presence which sleeps in its man, its woman. Know each other in that love that never changes. <laughs>